Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell, and I got some interesting stories to tell you, and I'll try to make them kind of quick. You know, yesterday was a bad day. It started out when my wife found out that a job she was supposed to be interviewing for next week, where the company had actually been recruiting her since last October, called her and told her they were canceling the interview because they didn't have enough activity and they decided to put the position on hold. So that threw things off because my wife travels for her work and she was thinking about getting this job, staying in town at an increased salary. Then we would have benefits. We wouldn't have to pay out of our own pocket for insurance anymore. And she could do some other things because she's been looking to get closer to home. As she started traveling, she started to understand what it was like being back home. <laughs> Because I've been trying to tell her that for years, and now she understands it. So that gets canceled, and so that kind of threw the first damper in. Then, within less than an hour, I had a message on my phone, and I couldn't take it when it came in because I was talking to her on the other phone, where I've been the president of this local organization that's affiliated with this national organization for 12 out of the last 16 years. And I've been the president pretty much because no one else wanted it. And, you know, it's, it's not bad necessarily being the president. And then I get a call from National saying that they had met someone else from the chapter who is, and you know, he's a young guy and he's got a lot of ideas. And they thought that he should be president and they were going to recommend to the National Board that I be immediately replaced by this guy. Now, I don't even know if they have the authority for that, but I'm thinking, wait, so 16 years, you know, I've been president 12. I've actually been on the board for, geez, almost 20 years. And, you know, like I said, 12 out of the last 16, I was president. And it's just quick like that. They're going to recommend that I'm not there. So that threw me off. And then last night, I tried to burn the house down. I didn't try to do it intentionally, but uh, something happened, and luckily I was close when the smoke detectors went off, and I caught it, and I fought it, and I beat it down. And by the way, nobody tells my wife about this, because I'm not telling her unless she gets into the house when she gets home this weekend, and she still smells stuff that I'm trying to get rid of in the house. But yesterday was not a good day. And you know what? Now I got to tell you, yesterday was a good day. My wife talked to some people who are looking for her to go to some place in South Carolina for 13 weeks at a slightly increased rate than what she's used to getting. My first article to ever hit more than a thousand views. In only a couple of days, mind you, on LinkedIn, happened. Someone gifted me something on a social media site that has shown some immediate benefits. So that wasn't so bad. And I got my first business check of the year. That was really nice and timely. And we got a refund check. So, it was a bad day, but it was a good day. And one of the things that happens with us quite often is that we focus on the bad things. And it's just so easy to do. The bad things catch us off guard, and they get us to this level of depression. And then when another bad thing happens, it feels worse, and something else feels worse. And a lot of times, we negate the good things. I mean, you know what? The house didn't catch on fire. As a matter of fact, I pretty much shut it down within 30 seconds. Uh, it turns out that, you know, when something happens, you can smell smoke for a good long time. But the house did not catch on fire. It did not catch on fire. If anyone calls my wife and tells her the house caught on fire, the house did not catch on fire. Just a little portion of it, and I fixed that. <laughs> so, some things have happened that were good. Can you say they outweighed the bad? Well, let's think about this. My wife was hoping to come home 
to this job to get the benefits and all this other kind of stuff. But at the same time, she was wondering, am I going to now settle for this job instead of this other thing that I've been doing at less money just for the benefits and to be home? Well, now she has more time to think about it. Uh, this thing with me and this organization, you know what? It's been nice being president, but the thing is, no one else has wanted the job. And I wasn't going to just walk away from it without anyone taking it. So this guy wants it. I don't like the way they did it. But now I don't have to deal with it anymore. I don't have to do any of the paperwork anymore. Uh, you're supposed to go to three meetings a year. You know, that hasn't necessarily been the worst thing in the world. But every once in a while, it's been the pressure that, okay, someone's got to go. It's going to be me. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Matter of fact, I may be dropping off the board of another organization within a few months because it gives me more time back for me. And you know what? There's no way I can spin the fire thing. There's <laughs> it's just nothing I can spin to make that a positive. There's no positive in that whatsoever, except for the fact that the house did not really catch on fire. Not really. Um, so, you know, you have to find your way to find the good things that have happened when bad things happen. Uh, there's people who talk about having a gratitude list. And I'll admit, I don't have a gratitude list. Every once in a while, I may sit down and write things that I'm happy for, things that make me feel good that are in my life, but I don't keep up with a gratitude list. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying I don't do that. I, yesterday, was in this bad mood, not feeling well at a certain point. So I took myself out said, you know what, I'm just going to go and buy some chicken wings and I'm going to eat them there instead of coming back home, which is where I, what I usually do. And they had the big screen TV on and they were showing Family Guy, some of the older episodes when they were actually still funny. And I found myself laughing and laughter helps to kill some of that bad mood. You know, you just can't stay in a bad mood once you start laughing. And that was timely. So I have mentioned in a couple of other videos how we have to try to find positive things and we have to try to find some things that make us laugh and some things that make us happy because if we're not going at things from a positive mindset it's really hard to get positive things done negative mindset basically you you know unless someone made you mad and now you're mad enough that you want to show them I'll teach you tell me I can't do something which doesn't happen all that often it's hard to really generate a lot of energy. So I'm saying to you, and it's a Friday, and I think it's the third. Three is supposed to be my lucky number. And the day has been pretty nice. So I'm saying to you, try to find the good things that happen to counter bad things when they happen. And try to find something to make you laugh or smile or at least say you know what the day was a wash it really wasn't as bad as it was this doesn't mean that if something really serious happens and i'm telling you to go watch family guy and get a laugh because you know really serious stuff is really serious stuff but in general most of the time these things are just little setbacks and there's usually something else that can help to counter it so go into it with a positive mindset try to find ways to motivate yourself to push forward that's all i have my name is Mitch Mitchell. You know, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this camera so you guys can see my hands a little bit more often because I move them a lot. And then I realize I do something and you can't see my hand. Not that you necessarily need to see my hand, but there you go. Anyway, this is Mitch Mitchell. I hope to see y'all later. You take care. You have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. And we will talk again.